In this training, we will explain how to start a diagram in Arius Risk. To model our attack surface in Arius Risk, we use the concept of trust zones. A trust zone is a logical boundary in which different IT systems operate. When hackers are looking for weak spots in an application, they tend to observe those points where trust levels change. In our diagrams, we visualize these trust level changes by trust zones. If you already have previous threat modeling experience, you may have heard of the concept of a trust boundary, which serves the same purpose. Every trust zone has a so-called trust rating. This is a percentage that indicates the level of trust we have in the elements that are inside of that trust zone. This is, of course, a subjective score. It will be lower if it's managed by people we don't know, and it increases with the level of trust that we have in them. Contracts that are in place, or the location of the physical servers, may also impact this level of trust. For example, an end user on the internet will always be in a trust zone with the least amount of trust. So, this trust zone will have the minimum score of 1. A cloud provider that we have a contractual relationship with will get a higher trust rating, somewhere in the between. Assuming that we self-host a trusted private zone and within that create an even more walled-off zone, we could consider that as the highest level of trust that we can possibly have. In that case, we assign a trust rating of 100%. Let's pop over to Arius Risk to see what this all means in practice. In the diagram view of Arius Risk, the menu on the left has a trust zone category, which we can expand by clicking on it. When we hover the mouse over a trust zone template, we can see its trust rating being displayed. This internet trust zone, for example, has a trust rating of 1%. The public cloud trust zone has a much higher trust rating of 60%. Adding a trust zone to a diagram is done by simply clicking and dragging it onto the canvas. In a similar fashion, let's add an internet trust zone to the diagram as well. Instead of dragging and dropping, you can also just click a trust zone for it to be added to the center of the canvas. Now that all of our trust zones are on the canvas, we can reposition and resize them as needed. In the next trainings, we will add components to these trust zones and connect them. In this training, we learned that trust zones are the foundation of a threat model. In other words, without trust zones, there is no threat model. Trust zone changes are the places where systems get attacked. The trust rating of a trust zone indicates the relative level of trust. 